It is a big day for us here in the Hunter Classic, and I know I sound like literal trash right now, but it's fitting because by the end of this hunt, we're going to be throwing this thing in the trash. We are 12 kills away from hitting the 1000 marker, which is probably going to be the last time we ever shoot this bow, and we can retire it and, I don't know, snap it over our knee or something like that. But I do think that Valdebois is one of the better maps for a bow like this. Red deer are actually fairly easy to drop. We've got roe deer, we've got wood grouse, plenty of stuff to take out. We need 12 kills, and then we can finally retire the cable back bow. And right on cue, we've got a wood grouse coming in here. Actually might be decent size, but we'll see if we can drop that at about 26 meters. We're not wearing any camo today, so that's a little less than ideal, but that'll work. So one down, 11 to go. But especially given the fact that it had a max estimate, let's take a look and see what we got. Actually, pretty average at 5,500. Right long shot at 26 meters, though, and we'll be on our way. Now, one species I definitely did not think we'd be getting any of at all was Red Fox, but we've got this opportunity here in this tree stand to call them in. And this is, I would say, how I've gotten 750 of the now 990 kills we have with this bow, just sitting in the stand, calling stuff in close, and shooting it basically directly down from the stand. Because the cable back bow is so weak, even say at like 10 yards, it's tough to punch through the double lung, so the easiest thing is typically down through the spine and into the heart. By the way, I guess I didn't set a password for this game, so open multiplayer games the way we're going to try to get to our 1,000th kill, but who knows, maybe there's some opportunities for something else that we'd never see to get taken out. And speaking of things not being a part of the plan, I don't know where this hind came from. I also don't think it's coming into a call, but we'll just drop it there. Nine to go. And there was a stag over the hill. I actually think it was out of calling range, so he shouldn't be on his way in. But I wanted to go up and around to not spook him. That certainly worked out. That shot we just made, by the way, on the red hind is a shot that we can make on other species, but I do find that with red deer, it's a little more consistent. Now, that angle would have been tough, I think, regardless. If we could have hit the neck, that would have worked, but in that case, just getting along was better. And really, he only went like, I don't know, 60 meters or something like that. Not too bad. I would guess lung liver or lung stomach, something like that at that frontal angle. And it was indeed lung liver, so no big deal. Six and a half second wound time. And I don't know, it's something about the red deer. By the way, I entered a red deer comp just in case it's like, biggest one inside 25 meters which there's no way with the cable back we're shooting one beyond that range i don't expect to do anything with it but if we find a big one we'll maybe have a chance for that but i just find that of all the species we typically hunt white tail black tail elk those sorts of things they're just a little tougher to drop you know on the ground broadside than red deer are but we will happily take another opportunity at another hind if she'll stay semi broadside which i thought maybe she would with the water I wonder if we can do the same thing, or even better, that may have been that double long shot. We'll take a look here. That's another thing with red deer. I do find that their lungs either like meat or crisscross or something right at the front of the body to where sometimes you do get that double long shot at basically a non-quarter angle, but there we hit the neck, which is another thing too. Their neck's just easier to hit. And not that I need to continue explaining why we're hunting red deer, but you see their necks just kind of perfectly fall in line with the vitals. You go like top of the vitals, you're looking at the bottom of their neck. Now, that we could have killed with like a slingshot, but that'll work. And I think that is the halfway point. Same exact shot, by the way, at three meters. But I believe we have six more kills to go. Now, admittedly, we are just asking for trouble here, but... We've got a female brown bear walking right past us, and I would like to think we can get a shot at. Now, maybe the smart move would be to try to get her to go aggressive, actually. See if she'll do it. She is going to do it. So, the other thing is, they do bluff charge a lot, but I think that might be an okay hit. There's a chance she'll still charge, but she is going to take off. So, we'll see. I'd say it literally every time we shoot a bear ever in this game. Bear hitboxes are weird, but if that's a lung, she shouldn't go that far. Well, it is intestines, so it'll bring it down. I actually marked where we last saw her, so let's do an X over that, 
and then just put a marker right on the actual blood just so we can come back and find it so we'll give it i don't know 20 25 minutes and hopefully it will have expired by then but suddenly we're getting pretty close to 1000 that bear would be at number seven assuming that it does go down and if we can get this red deer who definitely knows we're here that'll be at number eight now there also i don't want to spook things was a pretty decent road deer buck right out there i think we'll get away with this one spooking so hopefully we can get it too because that would then bring us to uh, number nine but decent little stack here again just broadside double lung that doesn't happen nearly as consistently with other animals so clearly we did get away with spooking the doe there's another decent road deer back there the odds that we drop this are probably not that good but let's see oh we did drop him and there was just a stag that called as well so we might be in a really good position here though that's the stag and he is not that big but let's worry about the other road here for now he's not as big but he's definitely not bad maybe high 130s low 140s and kind of doing that same thing heading over to the right that is where i called from initially so gonna move a little bit just to get his attention and then if we can drop that in there that was too high it may be spine but i doubt it i'm guessing liver Oh my goodness, there's a whole herd of red deer there. I mean, if they don't move, we need the kills still. And trying to, to keep an eye on where that one goes, but this guy, lung liver intestine at 17 meters, 150 score, I actually thought he was bigger than that. And then, is he still going? I lost him somewhere over in there. So it turns out, it's not a bad idea to equip a new pack of arrows once you've used all the other ones. That led to the red stag in a way, but it was actually spine too, so brought this guy down pretty fast. He's only 126. Again, a little smaller than I thought, but still, I think it's about time to go back and track that brown bear. Might as well do that, get everything kind of caught up, and then we need two more kills till we retire this thing for good. And man, did that ever work to give it time. I want to show on the map. The X that we drew was right here. Like, I had watched it go up over the hill and marked it. It, I guess, circled around or bedded right there, I don't know. Literally no tracking. Just ran to where the X was, so good deal. And we're now left with those two kills we need remaining. I do want to look at this too, because it says intestine, 11 minute wound time. But I mentioned the weird hitboxes. Like, we shot, I don't think we're going to get to see the exact impact, but kind of just in front of the front shoulder and in, you sort of see the exit. Intestine doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's just bear hitboxes in Hunter Classic. But now here we are, just two kills away, and of course this stag's gonna stop in this position, but I do want to mention, I would love to get some kind of cool kill for number 1000, but we're not going to actively seek it out. If it happens that way, fantastic, but that's not something I typically go for. I know a lot of people, I'm sure some of you guys have done that. You get to a certain milestone in you know, pass stuff up to get to something cool for that kill. In this case, I don't think we're going to do that, but that is Cable Back Bow Kill number 999, which is actually kind of cool to say out loud. Lung and Neck Bone 3, again, I just, we've said it enough, but demonstrating why Red Deer were a decent choice for this, but I don't want to take a hind or anything like that. It will be a stag or a buck, depending on whatever species we find, but the next one will be the last. And you know what? He's not huge, but that is not a bad stag. Up to 230. If he'll just stand there another second, probably going to be a single long shot. So that should be kill number 1000 for the cable back bow. I really hope he drops somewhere in the sun. He's going to have to go really far to get out of the sunlight. But regardless of size, and this guy's decent enough anyway, I wanted to take a trophy shot just to commemorate number 1000. And I think we're gonna be in decent shape he just bedded down there and they won't get back up so we can make our way over hopefully he will have expired by the time we get there and that's gonna do it and so there he is kill number 1000 with the cable back bow and quite possibly the last kill we'll ever get with it he's a pretty heavy one at 231 kilo a 210 score and just to see it 1000 cable back bow traditional harvests and so We've finally done it, and we're down to just the two crossbow pistols as far as any bows in the game that we don't have 1,000 kills with, but that is pretty darn cool. 
Oh, what the? Who turned out? Hang on. Oh. Well, I guess I broke it, but uh, it's fine. We don't need that thing anyway. Well, we're not gonna be able to use that anymore, but probably that's a good thing. And in all seriousness, we are down to just the two crossbow pistols. I set a goal probably back in like 2017 to get a thousand kills with every bow. And those two are all that's left. Between the two, we need a combined 1,411 kills, which is a lot. But the Wolfsbane one, we can get a lot of kills during the Halloween event if they do something similar with that. And as for this guy, it's going to be a lot of turkey hunting. But we've been sitting in the golden tree stand to get cable back bow kills anyway, so it'll be pretty similar. And I imagine a lot of kind of off-camera stuff. As for the main goals here in the Hunter Classic, hunting for a 400 Rosie and a 400 Not Tip Mule Deer, I imagine we'll be carrying the Pulsar, and frankly, I'm looking forward to that. We've been using traditional bows, tough to use bows for years now. I mean, from the heavy recurve to the regular recurves, those aren't that bad. The longbow and the cable back bow, though, for the last like two years, that's been tough. So it's going to be fun to go back to some compound bows. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.